in one of my last videos I showed a small stove that I had built and I had soldered or brazed the cont connections with uh, this brazing rod. It's an aluminum brazing rod. burns a matic brazing welding rod for aluminum. That eh, seems to work, but it's a bit tricky and uh, I thought I would try these. They're from Russia and they're fluxes for soldering to aluminum. This one is, that's an F in Russian. I don't know if you can see it, but it's F T K A and this one is F 61 A. Now this is the one that seems to be best for the job. The F T K A, it's 180 degrees Celsius and the solder that I'm using melts at 183 so it's about right. The other one is from 180 to 250 so I thought I would try it for a different type of solder. This is the solder that I'm using is for electronics and it has tin and lead in it. Um, but I thought I might try and, and as I said it's about 183 degrees Celsius but I thought I would try solders that you use for drinking water. Um, they're lead free um, and they both come with their own fluxes and I'm not going to waste your time. I tried it. I couldn't make it work with that type of solder. This flux really likes lead. So I'm just going to show you that it does work and uh, I'm going to be using the 180 degree one because well when that one runs out I'll use the next one but that's all I need for now. It seems to do the job a little quicker just because the flux reaches a proper temperature quicker a lower temperature. Now, the one disadvantage of this so far that I've found, and I'm not sure what the fix for it is, but the flux gets really fluid just before it starts to to burn. And so if you want your puddle to remain in a location, you almost have to solder flat. And I've put a little bit of a a, a dent in it just to keep the flux in place and I'm going to put a little bit of this tin lead solder for electronics in the hole and warm up the works. Oh, actually it's probably a good idea to clean off any oxide before you start or any contaminants and uh, this is just a stainless steel brush I got off a Dremel bit Okay, so that's good enough. I mean, this is demo, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Oh, solder's already melted. Okay. Okay, it, it's, it's definitely stuck. So, yeah, it works. It's pretty good. Uh, this is, as I said, the only concern that I have is if you've got to solder something that's not flat or dished, have some issues.
Okay. So it seems to be like four states. Cold, bubbling, boiling, um, and then it starts to smoke. The smoke seems to, that stage seems to be the place when the, the actual adhesion works. And then after that you get the, you get the uh, carbon on here now, or the, the charcoal or whatever you want to call it. Um, but the issue then, as I said, with this, it's fine. Flat's fine, and, and dished is fine, but, but the temperature before the adhesion happens, the solder turns into a ball and rolls off. And same with the flux. Flux gets very viscous, out she goes. So, I don't know, maybe somebody can give this a try if they're interested. At least they know they can do it. Uh, trust me, this one works as well, but it's it, it just a little bit uh, higher temperature before it starts to get to that smoking stage. So, which might be good for a thicker piece of aluminum, I don't know. But, you can't use this type of non-leaded uh, solder with any reliability. And this stuff actually works quite well. Thank you.